Here's my pedal board. First, I got a tuner, goes into an AB switch. One direction of the switch goes for an electric guitar route. The other route goes acoustic. So for the electric route, I've got a compressor, a fuzz, distortion, overdrive, transparent overdrive, huge delay pedal with some controls, reverb and tremolo, another reverb pedal into a looper. For the acoustic route, it goes tuner to the switch, down below the board to a compressor, back up to a reverb, back down below to a DI, and out an XLR out. My amp is a Vox AC15 hand wired. I used to have an AC30, CC2, but it was really heavy, so I was looking for a lighter replacement and found this bad boy. I tried a regular AC15, but I found it was way too dirty, and this guy had a lot more headroom and was a lot closer sounding to the 30 that I had. I also replaced the greenback speaker with a Celestian Alnico Blue, and I like that sound a lot better. My electric guitar is a Fender American Strat, which I love. It's got a maple fretboard. I replaced the pickups with Joe Barden. My acoustic guitar is a Taylor 410 CE limited edition Rosewood back, and it's got the expression system. I installed a male inlet so I could plug in an extension cord to power the board. I also put a quarter inch jack out to go to the amp along with the power switch. Here you can see all the power wiring along with the True Tone CS7 which powers the pedals. The FMR RNC compressor that I use for my acoustic is powered by its own wall wart AC power supply. I installed this outlet onto the side of my board. It receives constant power and I use it to plug my amp into. However, it's not controlled by the switch, so if I cut the switch off and forget to turn the amp off, it wouldn't hurt the amp. It would still be powered. Okay, so here's my pedal board. Here is my dry signal. Play a little quieter. Compressor. So that's the Exotic SP compressor. Um, it's really great. I use it on low setting, not too much blend, and I have it on all the time. Next pedal is my Fuzz. Great pedal, man. I really love it. Analog Man Sunface NTK or NKT275. It's a Germanian thing. I think it's discontinued. Its price has kind of skyrocketed lately, which is good for me, I guess, one day. Um, so this pedal, um, I, I play at church, and this pedal does not get used there because at church we're worshiping God and not me. <laughs> and I'm really not that good anyway, so that's fine by me. Um, but I just love this pedal just to mess around with it. Next we have my rat distortion. So I use this mainly as uh, just a boost to kind of cut through the band, um, but uh, I mean obviously to add some dirt to my drive. Yeah, that's what I mainly use that for. Sometimes if I do leads, which I rarely do, I'll, I'll use that. Uh, then next is my Zen Drive. So that just um, is just a warmer overdrive. And... Um, Here's the difference between that and the rat, just back to back. So you see how the rat cuts through a lot more than that Zen Drive would. Um, but the Zen Drive is just kind of there to just to provide 
the foundational crunch. Uh, then the Timmy is a new pedal for me. I'm still kind of figuring it out, um, but I really like it because it's a it's a transparent overdrive. Um, <laughs> See, it adds just a little bit of grit, and the EQ doesn't change much. Um, yeah, that's that's great. Um, my my rig is really bright because I have a Strat and this AC15, so I back the treble down a little bit, and I'm I'm still trying to find exactly where I like it. Um, but I got that toggle switch in the middle there, which I feel like um, gives less compression to it and provides for more dynamics, um, which is how I play a lot. I do have a lot of dynamics in my playing. Um, oh, I should also mention this Zen Drive 2 is one of the original ones by that Hermedia Audio guy. Um, it's no longer made by him. I think Love Pedal makes it. Um, but this one has an actual tube inside, um, and I experimented a little bit with it. I think I put a 12AY7 in it last, which is a little less drive, a little less gain than an AX7. Um, and that's what I was hoping for, just a pedal that had less I mean, originally, I, I wanted something more like the Timmy when I bought this long ago. Um, but now I got this Timmy, so... Anyway, that's that's the state. These, these sound pretty good stacked. Um, I think it helps this guy cut through a little more when the Timmy's on. Uh, I'm debating just leaving that thing on all the time. it really defines the Timmy so much, I mean the rat so much. <laughs> anyway, so I'm more of a clean player anyway. These drives don't get a ton of use for me. So um, I'm going to skip this delay for now. That's where the signal goes next. I'll come back to that because there's a lot to talk about that. Um, the flint I use as a nice ambient reverb, that a large reverb that fades to the background pretty nicely. setting. Uh, the tremolo on this pedal I use, uh, that reverb was the 70s mode. Um, for the tremolo I use the tube mode and I just kind of keep this subtle. Intensity is kind of a hair trigger. Uh, since my amp doesn't have tremolo and reverb, um, that's why I got that pedal. This new amp doesn't have it. Then moving on to this other reverb, this is I just use this as a room reverb. Oh, actually, that mix. I'm not a huge fan of spring reverb since I'm kind of a slower player, not like a fast, funkier player. Um, then this other 
set oh the favorite it has a favorite you can store a favorite so the favorite that i store is a mod reverb <laughs> This is just a little looper, and for that looper, I just record sw just one note, the key of the song that I'm in, and I just I swell it in, um, and just have that kind of drone on uh, through a song. And I have this little extra rubber knob here made by Exotic Effects, and I can fade it up slowly, you know, to have it not start so abruptly. But the key that I notice with the looper is to uh, record dead, just record dead air, just record that, okay, all right, and then arm it again, play your note, swell in, I swell in with my volume knob, so now that's, so now that's just going, um, and then you can just add on to that. Um, that was just a, you know, really quick. I mean, I, I don't do that live, I pre-record it. Okay, so now let me talk about my delay here. It's the even tied time factor delay. Um, it's got a lot of different modes. Um, I think the looper is trash. It's terrible. I was never able to get that to, to work well. Um, I like this little simplified thing. Um, I bought it when it pretty much came out first, um, before the whole Strymon blue, what is it called? The other thing, time timeline? Yeah. Um, I probably would have got that today but I'm kind of hooked on this now because um, uh, I've just been modifying it so much finding all these presets that I like I got this little controller thing here for it um, so this does a bank down bank up tap tempo um, and this holds the repeat um, Recently, they've come out with this H9 control software that you put on your computer, and you can modify your presets, save it to the pedal, and it works so much better than trying to do it all through the pedal. So since that had come out, I really started to modify that thing. Spent a lot of time making up some presets for it. Um, so here's a couple that I like. This one's called Meditate. Um, it's a vintage delay. just kind of crushing the bits as they fade, just making the delay sound old. Um, another one is the sweeper. It's a band delay, and as the delays go on, they modulate kind of like a flange, but less cheesy sounding. I'm not a huge fan of flange. Weeper. Uh, then this other one that I got here is, I call it swell pad. So I do swells with this using my volume knob on my guitar. Show you my 
acoustic setup. Okay, so here's my acoustic. Here's the dry signal. So, um, in trying this, I noticed that I was getting some crazy radio interference into my recording stuff um, out of the DI. So I switched to uh, just coming straight out a quarter inch into my mixer, and uh, I'm not hearing the radio anymore. And, and it was getting recorded. So I guess that DI is a piece of junk, and I need to get one of those expensive radial JDI, whatever those things are. Bummer. Okay, well, anyway. Um, so... Wait, sh can you see the compressor? See it working? Can you see that? See that? See that? Yeah, that's... I just sort of have it to control peaks and just kind of to keep things under control when I get a little wild. So all there really is to show you here is that the cool thing about this is that I'm reusing this tuner for both guitars. Um, sometimes when I play I will switch instruments and go acoustic so it's nice to be able to just kind of have one board. I only have to set one thing up. Um, and I can reuse that tuner and it'll, it even mutes me when I change instruments. So the only thing really to show you besides the compressor, which is great and works really, really good with acoustic and all the frequencies come through. Like if I were to use something like an SP or I don't know if all the frequencies would come through because there's a lot more going on with acoustic, you know? So this is this Hall of Fame Mini Reverb, which is super cool. I just recently discovered it and just started to try it. Um, I like to be able to control my own reverb, get exactly what I want. Besides the room, natural room reverb, of course. But so I just sort of have this thing. You can hook this up to a computer and dial up exactly what you want this knob to do. Um, so I have it go from nothing. So they might be a little bit on right there. Yeah, just the tiniest bit on right there. It's okay. And then uh, up to the middle, it's like a one and a, about like a one and a half second reverb tail. It just makes it sound really lively and nice. Then I have it so that when it hits almost like 75% or almost 100% of the way, it's just this huge thing. And you know, you, you, you really have to minimize what you're playing for this. Or else it's gonna get really cluttered. Yeah, anyway, I could do that all day, man. Love that. So this thing's great. Uh, great little pedal. And I put one of those exotic covers on it, too. It just helps me be able to turn that with my foot live. So that is my setup.